It is my belief that François Paul Jeune is the greatest watchmaker alive today. It's a bold statement, however in this video I'll explain why I hold Monsieur Jeune in such high esteem. François Paul Jeune was born in Marseille in 1957. He graduated from watchmaker school in Paris in 76 and then spent several years gaining experience working with his uncle Michel Jeune. During his time with his uncle, François Paul was exposed to incredible clocks and watches, something that no doubt fueled his legendary creativity. Indeed, in 1978, a mere 20 years of age, Jean began work on his first Torbjorn pocket watch, endowed with a spring B10 escapement. Everything was crafted by hand, and the watch took approximately five years to complete. The Torbjorn was patented by Abraham Louis Breguet in 1801. I must add that, in my opinion, Breguet was the greatest watchmaker to have ever walked the earth, something I intend to talk about in a future video. Breguet identified that gravity has an adverse influence on the behaviour of the escapement and the regulating organ. His solution was to place these parts in a cage that rotated 360 degrees every 1, 4 or 6 minutes. As the cage rotates, it ameliorates any losses or gains in rate, aiding precision. During the 90s, François Paul was making unique watches for private clients, as well as undertaking projects for the likes of Cartier and Piaget. In 1999, he launched his eponymous brand FP Jeune and released the Torbjorn Souverain, a limited series of 20 pieces sold on a subscription basis. These early watches are highly sought after, often fetching eye-watering sums at auction. Over the years, the Torbjorn Souverain has been updated. The current version, the reference TV, was launched in 2019 and features a vertically aligned cage that sits perpendicular to the plate. Each iteration of the Torbjorn Souverain has been equipped with a Remontoir de Galate. This latter mechanism ensures that irrespective of whether the mainspring is fully tensioned or indeed near the point of exhaustion, the force serving the escapement remains consistent, conferring superior rate stability. Schoen also employs a Remitoire de Galate on the Chronomet Optimum, a watch featuring two barrels that has an unusual escapement, the enshapment by axial hope performance. This system is a hybrid of Breguet's natural escapement and the Swiss lever escapement. However, unlike Breguet's natural escapement, Schoen's escapement is self-starting. A recurring theme with François Paul's work is his near-obsessive quest for chronometric excellence. Take the Chronomet à Resonance, a watch that was released in 2000. It exploits the phenomenon of resonance. Christian Huygens, the inventor of the pendulum clock, notes that two of his pendulum clocks, when suspended from a common beam, began moving in sympathy with one another, albeit he couldn't understand why. Later, in the 18th century, Antide Yambier created double pendulum clocks driven by two independent movements that exploited resonance, delivering enhanced chronometry. In the early 19th century, Breguet miniaturised resonance, incorporating it within a pocket watch. Later, François Paul would do the same, albeit with a wristwatch. A notable characteristic of these watches is they feature two balance wheels in very close proximity to each other. It's a technical challenge few watchmakers would even dare to attempt. I could talk about Jeune's chiming watches, including his mind-blowing Grand Sonnery, or the Astronic Souverain, a grand complication with 18 complications and functions. Or I could discuss the FFC, a watch that employs dactyl... I can't say that word, dactylonomy. I just can't say it. It uses the hand, a representation of the human hand, to impart the hours. I'll put the links to our FP Jeune content in the comment section below. I could talk about Jern's movements being made of 18 karat gold. This noble metal is one of the least reactive metals there is, so it doesn't require plating. However, it is very soft, making it challenging to work with. But then again, it seems Jern and his team relish a challenge or two. So, Jern's an inventor, a watchmaker, but he's also an athlete. Look at the appearance of his watches. He's a master of proportions. His dials unite lines and curves, delivering breathtaking beauty. Just visit an FP Jeune boutique, there are currently 12. I know that everything from the door handle to the interior decor, the bar, the library, horological artifacts, everything is considered with an extraordinary attention to detail. Everything is a product of Jeune's imagination. I've met many watchmakers over the years. Some are great at finishing, some are great at dial making, some are great at engineers. Unfortunately, several lack sufficient commercial acumen to succeed. They lack the necessary marketing nous. François Paul Jeune is a rare individual, even more rare than his exclusive watches. He's a watchmaker, an engineer, an inventor, an athlete, and an astute businessman. His array of talents is unparalleled, and it is for this reason that he's the greatest watchmaker alive today. Oh, and before you ask, would I love to own an FP Jeune watch? You betcha. Until next time, watch geeks, keep collecting.